That's four Reapers. Ooh, wow. He came in right before the War Logan popped. Thanks for messing around. It's more Vampire Survivor. It's Beswick. Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Geez. 186. Lucia Zero is going to be heading on over and showing off the power of reviving over and over again. So let's get our stuff set up. Right, I need to unbanish first. Boy. Getting rid of you is more important. Actually, I won't be able to use the tome that I have in mind. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Ghost. Get me badge. Alrighty. Gonna be heading over to good old Lake Foscari. And I checked all the bloody audio before I did this one. No more getting completely screwed over. Haha, <laughs> I will still be screwed over. I don't know how it'll happen, but it will. Any card, any card, know when to stop. Oh, right, I start out with extra rerolls here. Let's see laser blasting. I've signed scan right away. Nice. And the only thing that I've added is this academy badge is nothing. I'm free on other stuff. Man, they come in so hard. Until we get paranormal scan, uh, my options are limited. They are especially limited here because of what I have to set up. Oh, forest. Not good. Well, okay, this better makes sense, but really this is all about reviving as much as possible. So going down here is fine since I already have wake. And I will get a bunch of stats off this. Yay, let them go. You even get Fifth of a revive back. You're just making me stronger and stronger. Don't want to waste all my tier Jesus first, though. Usually, I almost never go this way, so that's why I'm no no. So I'm just sort of mangling around. Yeah, I do have to go to the forest to get through. Hey, let's get that cooldown going. Don't want to use all my revives. Yeah. And that is also why I'm here on good old Abyss Foscari. His Academy badge gives two more revives. So, with everything I can pick up, there'll be ten total revives, and then two more off reviving, so that's 12 in total. That's a lot of stats added on. Medial Kobold, though. Now, let's see. Went around? Yeah, up and down. Rare to see this position not packed to the brim with enemies. Just because I never go this route. But hey, gotta change it up sometimes. See how the world looks from a different perspective. I'm Strange and limited. Okay, back to full health, nice. All right, now just move on over to that academy badge, grab up two more revives with it. Losing the growth is gonna be painful, but hey. Oh, what? No, there you are. Huh, weird, it didn't float on over to me. Third weapon is really just not important. I'm not even gonna be able to evolve Eskizber here. Oh, there you are. Wow, what are these things? I don't remember seeing them before. Huh, they're pretty dang hardy. Okay, no early evolution here, so unfortunately I can't get paranormal scan right away. Yeah. 
And like I said, I'm never really on this part of the map this early. It usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes here. I usually have evolutions. So I guess they're an early spawn that I just, you know, I have the Ars Goo to complete. So I probably just grabbed them at one point without realizing they were here. Usually don't see brownies here or either. They're only in the village. Yeah, usually by the time I'm here, it's the fishing kobolds. No, I don't want to probe the Atlanteans just yet. And the damage is terrible. But that's sort of to be expected. Probably just going to get awake for the third... Er, beginning for the third Arcana. Max out my projectiles as well. Oh, hey, that chicken's like on the table there. That's cute. Hey, vacuum me. Random meant save uh, gave me that. Mm, been pretty kind so far, so that means I'm gonna get a ton of stalkers showing up later. As soon as I pass my awareness off, they will come in a storm. I just go straight up, some mushroom dudes, get Kana, and get some awakening. Nothing else, right? I could freeze, I guess. I already have a wake. I want Monto Beam. Or I want Beginning for more laser. Hey, a grenade. Hey, another grenade. Alright, so that's... Four amount, plus three more from me. So seven lasers, eight lasers total. Not bad, all things considering. Get that grenade. Oh, I went down. But that just makes me stronger. Let's see, so that means I'll also pick up two more amount off of all these revives. I will probably use them all. Hey, I'm getting pushed back better. Oh, yeah, get the chest, jeez. Like I said, third weapon here didn't really matter. I just grabbed this Kizbar because it's generally a pretty okay option. Oh, I need to stop moving. Actually, I need to move more. Don't want to pop all my revives just yet. Like I said, I don't count the weapon power up because it allows you to go over, but I do count the ghosts because they do not. So even though they'll fuse together, the ghost will count towards the three limit for 333 for Bazwick third wave. Well, that was a very bad pickup. The evolution chest is popping up soon. Get the grenade. No, it didn't show. Are you it? No, you're just a regular mob. I don't know where the boss is. Give me my evolution chest. I want to go stronger. I want to limit break a weapon I could use. I want to limit break paranormal scan immediately. Oh, crap, fire. Watch that wave go off. Hey, there you are, chest. Ponto beam. Yeah, they're super duper screwed. Hey, there's paranormal scanner. And now I don't have to do anything, because that'll eventually just get me enough revives. Well, just in case this nope. Holding to the third wave. Oh, there's Stalker. I eh, figures. Knew you were gonna come in at some point, Stalker. And oh, this took me way too forever to mention, but I learned it a while ago. Stalker apparently is just, when it gets, comes into the RAM event, it just goes away after a minute or two. So, I was not doing, you don't do damage to it outside of Rosary and Grenade. So anytime, so that's why it doesn't take damage, except on, you know, Boss Rash. It just goes away after a certain period of time. 
Well, I know there, there's got to be a power up around here somewhere. Why are you so slow? What the heck is going on? That's not right. Normally you're on me. I talks 24 7. I'm gonna be able to keep you at the edge of the screen so effortlessly. Oh. Oops. Tree. I shouldn't be able to do something like that. That doesn't make any sense. Scan first. Scan his stats. And stats means cooldown. Come out. More laser. Hey. Oh, right. I'm not gonna evolve that Kisper. Oh, I don't see Stalker. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Ah, I know. Perfect title for when point eight releases. Starship Troopers Extermination. Why am I thinking of other games? I'm playing Vampire Survivors. Oh well. I mean, your mind just sort of drifts. What's that old saying? Your mind only concentrates on one thing for like 20 seconds? That fits me. I like a glove. Alright. I was expecting to die more. I probably should just dived into Stalker, but, you know, the later waves, they're gonna get much more dangerous. Though I do have a chicken fort here. I'm just pretty lousy, honestly. Oh, right. Oh. Hey, they're getting in. Very respectable movement, mushroom dudes. Oh, right, Atlanteans exist. Let's go fix that up real quick. My cooldown at 41%, pretty lousy. Oh, the stats are affecting what they are. These are obviously more challenging runs instead of trying to like hit big fat records like Dex is doing. You know, I just sort of want to play it in different ways. I could always just, you know, do some old sanctuary, try to go for as high scores too. I think limiting yourself to something like this is pretty eye opening. That's why I did the just solo base weapons with the Operation Guns characters. I could see how they performed as well in a scenario like that. That's why I will say that Divers Mines is worse than Long Gun. Because... Well... If you watched that video, you saw what happened. I could not beat Mad Forest with Divers Mines while I did beat it with Long Gun. The Pierce just affected it too much. And while maybe with enough area Google of illusions could contribute to making diver mind better you aren't going to get there with solo diver mind especially if you try to go wicked season on the back end it's not going to happen a fish what's a fish doing here hey a pet more armor oh the seven armor i think i might have pulled up another revive she will be reviving over and over again. Lucia Zero. She gets bonus stats when she revives. That's why I did it this way. Try to build into the character a bit more. And hopefully the audio won't magically mess itself up halfway through and completely change what I need to do. Yeah, the damage is really low. And the map clear is amazing. And if you do, you know, out of bounds with it, Get some nice Jayla Crystal going with Out of Bounds. Can be no trouble at all. Oh. Oh, there was a snake boss that got in. It's really hard to see you. How are you even different from the regular snakes? Huh. That was odd. Alright, there you're dead. I got six more revives, despite the fact that I died two times since then. Oh, there's one R. One old. Whatchamacallit down? Skippity doo da, skippity day. My oh my, what a Lake Foscari day. 
Hey, NFT. That'll give me the damage I desperately need. Oh, dang it. Got stuck in the forest. Yeah, there's my level up storm. It's been a while. Alright, that was a good level up. Nice speed broke through the forest as well. This has got a lot of knockback. In fact, it's got an incredible level of knockback. Hmm. I mean, you really wouldn't think of lasers as doing, like, huge knockback stuff, I guess. Unless it's just like a giant Gundam wave beam cannon or something like that. This card, ew. This is no silver ring time. Wait, where did you go? Those are all just the pots, they aren't gonna do anything. Resistant to knockback, but not immune. The sheer volume of laser here really does keep them nice and back. There's this endless stream of them not getting closer. Yeah, the damage is so lousy. Alright, let's try and aim in a single direction again. Capture you in one beam. You know, you just like sort of like bouncing out of it, huh? Okay, there's another golden egg. Granted, the NFT really helped there, but still. The count's going up not too slowly, considering. I'm not going for, like, the most powerful builds known to man. Just sort of building how I want to build. With a bit of a challenge. Because, you know... Really, really does show you how much you rely on the passes for a lot of your power. Because, you know, if I had... All the other passes I could have grabbed, this would be way more ridiculous. See, like armor there, I would have had a legionary. And then it'd been trouncing everything with that sweet, sweet retaliation damage. Oh, Avatar guy is here. That's the green reindeer thing. Or green deer thing, right? It's not a reindeer. Not remotely anything that could resemble a reindeer. Ignore the deer part. But, man, I'm breaking the terrain so bad, it's hard to tell. Flag break. Oh, well, it hasn't healed off of me, that's nice. And it is resistant to knockback, too. It's really getting stopped cold by the lasers. Oh. I have no idea where anything is anymore. There's a hag in there. Okay, dokely. Here you go. Well, didn't manage to make the cooldown max out. Didn't get enough levels because I didn't have enough raw front damage. Oh, nice one. I mean, you're not going to get through six more revives, but still. Man, so a lot of lasers doing nothing. Huh, maybe you will. There's a lot of dudes. Oh. That probably helped. Also, that sounds like there was a bot. No, wait, that was the must have in the avatar that died. Man, four more revives to punch through. They're on the way. No, I guess might at this point is... Well, Ram always at this point is the one I'm going to hit, because it's not like I'm going to... Anything's going to change at this point. Oh, was I just running into the Avatar the entire time if I'm taking down the Green Knights like this? Maybe I just... What? Oh, I must have kept running into the Atlantean then. <laughs> this is strange. I thought they would have been more durable than this. Alright, well, let's see how high we can pump her stats. Mm. 
some more vibes. One more revive. And one more revive. One more revive. Oh no, get that golden egg back here. And no more revives. So that's what our stats look like after maxing them out so much. Right, I forgot to grab all those small clovers. Yeah, so this would be pretty dang crazy. Especially in co-op, like Stumped showed off. Or at least you just get coming back and back and back, because... You can revive endlessly there. 6.8 million, not bad considering the low power circumstances. Okay, we'll be switching over to a Friesen build as we head over to the laboratory. Because, oh god, is it going to be necessary? Actually, no, the, the revive build would probably be better here. Oh, well, I'll just fail. Any card, any card. We know when to stop. I don't know when to stop. I freeze things. Damn, get out of bounds. Actually, you would have been better than Jadora. So I will grab you. Bam, bam, bam. Reroll. Clover increases the chance of the freeze. Empty Tome increases the chance of me firing. And Magic Wand, because it's there. Look, it'll stop things that get close. That's good. That's very good. Uh-oh. I want to die before I get awake. Oh, fudge. Well, this is unlikely to survive then. Da -da -da. Hey, chicken, that could have been helpful earlier. No oh, grenade in time. Yep, get up to your Jisoo. I still get stats, but I really would have liked to have maxed out my stats instead. Oh, four revives. Oh, five revives. Eight revives. Seven revives. Nine revives. Okay, it should be nine revives total. Nine revives in total. Through Awake, through the Tier Jisoo, and through the ones I get from dying. And it's really only the big Tri Blunder wave at the end that's really ridiculous. A Yoru 10. Yoru 10. Okay. Damn, there's pro Oh, you get early evolutions here. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, I get prism light. I get double, so I get another revive. Ooh, that clears the screen. Now, this becomes basically worth. Wait, were these always here? Huh. Well, gotta get magic wand up first. Look involved into the holy wand. Sheer projectile speed counts for something. And then I evolve it. Obviously, having the bouncy shots from Waltz and Pearls would be better, but gotta take what you gotta take. Right, it's upside down. You are not evolving, so it's worth more. Oh, right, there's going to be nothing in here. Oh, aside from a nuke. Alright, I could try and create a 
fort. Power-ups. To defend myself against that big, scary Gorutin wave at the end. There's oh, my holy wand. The wand is so holy, it freezes them solid in their sin. Hey, Arcana time. Time to Arcana up. No solid sanctuary this time. Because we're freezing them solid. Yep, frontal beam is so crazy. With this. Yeah. Just imagine how it would be if it was actually being played by someone who was good at the game. I got two Orlogians stocked up. That's nice. That's... Between that and the revive, I should have no trouble getting through the Gyoru routine wave. Oh, I have a grenade for this drowner down here, who's been defanged. Ha ha ha, your water does damage still, because it's a stage effect. Like the explosions from the G... The... Not Banshee things. Wow, you went down really fast. Yeah, look at how fast that kill count's going up. It's gonna surpass the look like Foscari's soon. Man, that's without me even being that powerful. Woo. Woo. I'm gonna get a vacuum at some point. That's three Orologians. That should be more than enough to get through all the Gyorutins. And I have eight revives, which will end up being ten revives, too. So, not eleven, though. Not eleven. They still will be reviving over and over and over again in the end. It does matter, because I get stronger each time I fall. Yeah, yeah. Go away, boss. We don't want your kind around here. Not frozen. I get 20k at 10 minutes. Looks like it's on track for it. If just barely. Yep, at 20k before 10 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. You know, I should grab these barriers at least. Actually, I should also, you know... Oh. skippy doo doo da. Oh, good thing I grabbed that barrier. Alright, yep, yeah, they're not getting close. Not getting close at all. Alright, anything on the map? Oh, might as well grab the red gem. Oh, right. These are ladders to go down. I can hit the train. Woo! Big 500 damage. Wow, that's actually very low. Just want enough so I can ran them always. Yep, don't need anything else. I've got like five Warlogians saved up, plus grenades and such. So, things really do get super bad if you a routine wave. Or the tri blunder wave, and then just grab them and go. Plus, I got a bunch of chickens too. But they should not be able to chew through 10 revives. Oh, wow. Oh, they're not getting frozen, that's why. Yay, more health. Wow, I didn't even know those existed. Oh, they're very durable. Boss, go away. Soccer, go away. Uh, I really just used my only grenade. Yes, I think that was the only grenade I had. Oh, let's go get this red gem. Why is it so slow all of a sudden? I don't think the game got patched or anything. I don't like the stats really changed up. Whoa. 
Yeah, uh, illusionist. Okay, so I'll pop an Aura Logan on that. Because, boy, do I not want to deal with it. Man, is that a lot of stuff I used counterintuitively. Wait, there was one more up here. Yeah, explosives and that. Oh, there goes Stalker. Hopefully there goes Stalker. Okay, there's some more gathered up on the right here. Way out of where it should be since I haven't left this area at all. Yeah, how is it all the way over there? That makes no sense. Do the lasers really breach all the way to that spot to get kill things? This is about the farthest I've gone right here. Yep, yeah, there's a ton of stuff stocked up. All the way in this room. There's no way I've been over here. At all. Oh, might as well try get another train. Hit him with that sweet, sweet train damage. Well, whatever. Is done. The enemies are bested. They are frozen solid. I have a ton of chickens to save me. Okay. These ones aren't actually durable enough to do that much. It's strange considering they'll over... Compensate for the final wave. It's so gigantic. Yeah, not being able to frozen really gives them a durability boost. If they were getting frozen, this would be no trouble at all. But they're not, because they're resistant to freeze. If only I had some garlic. In fact, I probably should have grabbed garlic over something else. And I heal a lot of health because of the recovery bonus. All right, more chickens. Prefer to use the chickens over the other stuff right now. Because the other ones, the ones at 19, they're going to be the scary ones. Yeah, look at that. Completely wiping out everything on screen, no issue. Now I have to run between Orologians. And revives. They just fill the screen. There's very little I can do without having incredibly insane DPS. So, or whoever else is going to be coming to this stage. Or them. Oh, I had a lot of barriers saved up, huh? Let's revive over and over again. See how far we can push these stats up. Come to me, my gems. That's a nice amount of levels. All right, three more to go. Well, they'll end up being like four more. Two more to go. Doing so little damage. One more to go. And that's the last. All right, 613 health, 2.7 recovery, 14 armor, 102 move speed, 116 might, minus 72 cooldown, and only two amount. I guess all they haven't all fully gone in yet, huh? So that was way more revives than I should have. Oh, the number has to actually activate before you get it. That's why. Well, that's the 21. Not bad, considering. Yeah, so much less damage because it was all in out of bounds comparatively. All right. And Lucia's final run on her run for a long time is going to be over on Whiteout. Going to be modifying the freezing up bit. Just show off what garlic can do. Oh, get more sea laser. Or more importantly, get merchant proud of bounds. Jeez. And plus eight. 
Out of bounds. They're doomed. Garlic. Yeah, take that. Stronger with movement or logians and against frozen enemies. All those are things I'm not going to grab. Over for now for the luck bonus. Alright, so one blast of this. Into one blast of that. Uh oh. Alright, and then Mirage Robe. After I core to a run, I'll drop it and blow them up. Alright, and what's more empty tome going? Empty tome. Alright, nice. Blow through with C laser. And then run through the corridor you create. To garlic it up. With garlic. Yeah, nice. Nice little combo. Hey, oh. Just the halfest of inches away. And then it would have all been annihilated. I've gotten all the power-ups. All of them. There's another Royal game. Hmm. I guess all the power-ups is a bit not right. Yeah, that blew them up good. Blew them nice and good. Alright, I still have to deal with the incredibly broken evolution chests on this mission. Sage. Wow. Man, there's so many of them. And I'm not getting the most efficient use of my anything, really. Vacuum. Save me, mighty vacuum. More Logan going. Get that cooldown from garlic as low as possible. Uh, what a silly situation. No, well, you gotta do what you gotta do to live. Upfront damage is much weaker. Man, they are not getting knocked back by the garlic very well, huh? Well, should have saved that for an actual dangerous wave. If I'm losing a ghost, then things are gonna go really bad here. Well, once I get Pronto Beam, it won't be a problem, but still, that'll be a while. Especially because it can still take away my Tier Jisoo before then. Alright, another big old nukin. That does not evolve since it's not 10 minutes in yet. And even then, it'll only be like minute 15 when it shows up. Alright. Gotta try to chain these Aura Logans. It's really the biggest thing I have for offense. Yep, this one is sort of not working out. Double nuke. Double nuke. Wait, vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Exploding chest, go. It said on the stage description the enemies here were weaker to fire. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, there's a boss bat. See if that actually accomplishes anything. Hey, Arcana, now I can get my awake way too late. Blow up on all of my clones. Blow up on them, please. Don't hurt poor Lucia. Oh, 
time to rosary. Oh, I guess garlic might will accomplish nothing. Better than what my other options were. Now a mount plus one. That's a good pickup. Oh, there's another one. Another amount, wow. Back to back. Oh, I only have a choice there. Next still might be better. Right, and I have the other Aurora Logan when these guns spawn in. Oh. Well, you wanna just chain Aurora Logans back to back, just grab a wake here. Or grab out of bounds here. We get so many from the snowmen. Uh-oh. That was a bad choice. I was really hoping for something that wasn't that. So, some other power-ups would be helpful. Any would be helpful. Oh, rabbit fire, there we go. There's another one right there. Oh. And yet another one. Wait, where's the rapid fire going off? Maybe I should just sat still and created an endless wave of Lucia clones with the uh, robe. Huh. Evolution chest? Evolution chest, yeah. Candy box. Candy box. I think the cooldown's actually low enough that they're all gonna die on the clones. Uh, there's an NFT down there, which is an amazing pickup, because everything here is apparently weaker to uh, fire. So we'll do that. Uh, I mean, duration is never gonna matter. What else am I gonna hit with it? At least garlic area has some effect. Oh, there goes my Orlo again. Good all them snowmans. And then freeze in another dang robot wave. Well, golem wave, as the Aras Guda says, but I'm just going to keep calling them robots because they look like they're robots more than golems, I guess. Because they're made of... looks like they're made of metal compared to made of clay. Will this be my Pronto Beam? Yes. And a Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition on the back end. It means actually I could grab Soul Eater. Or Jodora. Jodor. And that's probably worse for what I want, but Soul Eater, you know, it has the same effect. It still gives knockback debuff and a freeze debuff. So even these ones which are resistant to it, or I think they're resistant anyway, are now frozen and being crushed by out of bounds. So don't forget your garlic if you want to go for a freeze build. It's still an option. Now that means all the levels I wasted on garlic are there. But also I wasn't expecting to get the Super Candy Box 2 Turbo anyway. But clearly, I planned for it as best as I could. I just not planned for a very certain contingency. Just random always at this point. It's, it's not really going to be a threatening thing outside of Kitsun. Kitsun. Oh, Kitsun? Yeah, look at them, they're just constantly frozen. Anything does actually get close, if not frozen, it'll be stopped enough by the Soul Eater and the Endless Wave of Mirage Robes. But yeah. Pretty risky at the start, but once it gets going at the end, it's very safe. Well, see, even the boss is getting frozen. I mean, not very much, but it is getting frozen. See. 
There it is, being chain stunned. Woo. Oh, huh, that was weird. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, they don't get frozen long now like they would with, say, Clock Lancet. But still, interrupting them that much is still helpful. They rely on, you know, basically being implaceable to get in on you. But when they're constantly stuttering like that, it's hard for them to do anything. Wow, look at that chaos go. Oh, good thing I have a ton of revives on the back end. Ooh, only four. That's not that many. Oh man, I got the illusionist blow-up thing too on top of this. Or trickster blow-up thing on top of this too. That was really, really insane to go with the Russian snowman too. Russian snowman? Oh, that's triple Orlo again. One. Wait, why is she blue? Two. Three. them for about a minute and a half that was pretty great <laughs> nice there's another one. Oh, hi death how's it going wait you actually aren't gonna be able to hit me I'm gonna freeze you too hard yeah oh well if the boss wasn't here this would be no problem but it is yeah otherwise I could basically just sit here and keep you nice and frozen for forever. There's nothing you're going to be able to do against this. All the boss doing any work here. Well, let's see how many deaths I can spawn. Maybe I'll change the video of the title. Endless Reapers on screen. <laughs> nope, got two. Hey, Clover. Hey, lucky event. Damn, just still terrible, though. Yep, that's three Reapers who are never going to do anything. Stopping Reapers cold. Uh-oh. Warlogian. Oh, is one of them dead? I think one of them might have died. Let me see some chests. Oh, get a rapid fire. And another Warlogian. And another, and another, and another. That's four Reapers. Ooh, wow, he came in right before the Orlogian popped. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's unfortunate, but yeah. There you see, 13.4 out of out of bounds. Actually, I did Pronto Beam. But DPS would have come back eventually. But that wasn't even the most efficient way he could have done it. All right, there's Lucia Zero down. Next up's gonna be old Ariana. Movement speed increases armor. So we're gonna be maxing out that with all the weapons it entails. Lucia Zero has taken us up to an amazing 300 stage character combinations beaten. 
it's been a long journey from there to here and it's going to be an even longer one still going forward but we are getting closer and closer to beating every stage with every character in vampire survivors thank you for watching i hope you had some fun like dislike comment or subscribe if there's anything you want to do to support the channel Either way, I hope you have a good day and keep messing around in Vampire Survivors.